Neat Games. Hello everyone, I'm back with my third devlog. So here I am walking to my elementary school here in Korea. The weather is really nice these days. And this is a cool website I like to use. Um, it helps me focus because it's ambient noise and there's research that shows that certain decibels of ambient noise helps you think. And here I am doing the tile map, just throwing something together real quick. I, I like using Unity's tile map system. It's pretty versatile. Here I am putting some decorations, just trying to make it look good. And this day I thought since I'm in these cave levels, I would make a new hazard or mechanic and I decided to do these flat mushrooms that you could jump on as platforms since it's kind of a mushroom themed area. Here I am in Photoshop making a flat top mushroom and then my idea was like this to have the mushrooms close so the player had to time their landings and jumps. So I cut it out, put it into Unity, did some animations and that's where we are now once the time lapse is finished. So here we are in Unity Editor. And I wasn't sure where to put it in level mechanic or level hazard, but at the moment it's here in mechanics. And here's the final product. I had some issues while making it, but it came out pretty good. And basically it works on a timer with an animation trigger. So here's the idle animation. And then when the code, when the timer counts down, it triggers an off bool, and that goes to the flat mushroom close. And here it is. And this was the kind of tricky slash fun part. So for now I'm doing it like this. I'm not quite sure if this is how it's gonna stay. But I have the close and open on one animation. I feel like if I separate these into different animations, I could play with the timing more. But for now, this is good. So here it closes and here it opens. And on the flat cap is the box collider marked as ground so the player can jump on it. So if we turn on the collider editor, you see it's here and it kind of moves with the mushroom. So it goes to here, closes down and then here the collider turns off and it stays off until it turns back on over here, which seems like it's a little off. Hmm, I need to fix that later, but huh, why? Oh, there it goes. Yeah, cool. So yeah, it turns on over here. I should probably have it turn on around here, but I'll fix that. And currently this is the level that I started making using these new flat mushrooms and I'll show them in action. So here it is. So, Ooh. If you, if you jump on it when it's closed, you fall right through. And if you jump on it when it's open, it's fine. So, fun little jumping puzzle here. Go, 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 go. Ooh, this is a spinning mushroom I made before. Snail. So yeah. So here you're standing on it and then you fall off. Uh. And that's what I worked on since the last dev vlog. And I remember in the first dev vlog I mentioned my jump. So uh, my, my jump is got a cool code on I want to show you guys. So when you tap it your height is pretty low and when you hold it you jump higher. So I just wanted to share this code with you guys how I found it. And of course, I used my Google skills to find it. 
and here we go so when I was in my making these game jam games I believe this was the first time I used this code because during these three game jams they're all platformers and I got some constructive criticism that my jump felt a little floaty or didn't feel very precise so I looked it up how to make it feel better and I'll just show you an example here in this game so this was a fun little platformer I made I think this is one of the first times I used the tile map system too so here you are your little flame boy also has a double jump but with this double jump if you just tap it it's still the same if you hold it it's still the same and also you go down slower and like in my last video when I talked about parallax this one also the background still moves with the player but this was a fun jam this is a cool little snake guy and I really like my my fireball it's basically just unity particle system all crammed together with animated flames and you go this way to leave so this one my jump is just very high and slow falling so if I get out of here and you guys got a glimpse of it before but in this video I learned the code over here so basically this code allows you to manipulate the gravity on the way up and the gravity on the way down so you can fiddle with these public floats to get the type of jump you're looking for and this YouTube video is called better jumping in unity with four lines of code when I read that I was like sounds good and it works really well and he gives some cool examples why this is useful so this is the small jump and the big jump and where's the Mario picture yeah this is a good picture so in Super Mario his jump is 18 frames to reach the maximum height and then only 10 frames to go back down so he's spending more time going up and then quickly landing so this gives it that nice crisp platforming feeling many people are used to because we grew up with this game and many others like it. So with this cool code, I've been using it in my platform games. And now, if we look at a level here, maybe you'll notice compared to Heat Wavy, the game you were just looking at, so here I tap it, here I hold it, so I almost touch the ceiling, hold, tap, hold, and you can do tap, tap, double jump, or hold, hold, double jump. And after playing some of my old games, this feels much better, the, the more snappy jump. And... I'll just show off some mechanics I have in this level. So you got a switch instantiates. So actually it activates this block. The block is hidden here, deactivated. Let's you grab this crystal. You push it down. And then this pressure plate, like last time, you need something to stay there. So you have this block. I'm trying to think of more creative ways to use these pressure plates. Here's some acid bubbles, gives you some jump. Ooh, grab the crystal. And here's some circling mace thingies. And more and more. This is hard. Go, 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 jump, bam. Ah, yeah. So I just wanted to share that jumping code with you guys. I thought some of you might find it useful since many of us like to make platformers. And I hope you guys are all having a good day and I'll see you in the next devlog. 
See you later. Neat game.